It's gaming time, folks. We've got Colty over Sheik in top 32. I like both of these players. Let's see what they bring. Scarm probably going to spike here. Colty goes Charizard. Allow me to switch sides briefly. Invites in Blissey. Will we see a beat up Charizard to punish this Blissey? Whole team is healthy for Coltio, so beat up will do big damage. And look at this, it is, it is indeed. Blissey probably going to Thunder Wave if it's choosing to stay. Indeed. Now that's one less beat up hit. Beat up hits based on healthy allies. Oh, full para is not what you want. I think Blissey would have lived though. Only five beat up hits, but there is crit chance to take into account as well. Full para again. That stinks. I wonder if Coltio should be playing it like this though. Maybe you should switch at this point, cut your losses. Now go for another beat up. Bring Blissey low once again. Maybe now you go to a Tyranitar or something. Just get get an entry point. Another full para. Okay, pretty unfortunate for Coltio here. Gonna go Salamence this time. Pivot in on the beat up. That full para didn't matter that much. Beat up wouldn't have done much to Salamence, really. Oh, are we going to see an HP ice? A Dragon Claw. Crits, okay. Making up for the poor luck just a moment ago. Eliminating a Salamence. Blissey going to get a lot of chip heal here. Getting one leftover as it comes in and one right here as well as Metagross enters. Now Metagross can force out Blissey. We're going to... It's double to Celebi, maybe trying to catch a Swampert incoming or something like that. It is Skarmory. Skarm gonna just spike up on Celebi. Yeah, that's a pretty common thing to do. But HP Fire will chunk Skarmory decently. Looks like a fairly weak Celebi. Perhaps a Carmine Pass set. Colt, you are definitely on the back foot. Two spikes up. Hard to, hard to pressure this Skarmory. And Skarmory can prevent these CM passes. It's going to be difficult for Coltier to break through from this point. But we'll see how it goes. Is this a... That miss doesn't matter too much. Blissey shrugs that off. And now Sheik knows that it's Hydro Pump Suicune. Emblematic of a more offensive Suicune. Which makes a lot of sense considering it's in the lead slot, folks. Ice Beam will do a solid amount to Celebi here. It's. I feel like something happened overnight and Carmine Leech Seed has become a popular set somehow. You Carmine up. You are forcing this Skarmory to, to roar, which is good, and getting guaranteed chip, basically. Ah, oh, doesn't even roar. Well, now you're in a solid spot, threatening to KO Skarmory now. Carmine it up. No Baton Pass, I assume. Can't fit. Oh. I was about to be upset if there was another full para. coltio has been getting a bad... Having a bad go of it. He did get the crit on Salamence. We can't forget that. Sweeker now dangerously low. Probably just going to invite in Blissey. To, to little avail. 24% bringing Blissey down to 50. You could go Metagross here on the on the turn Blissey heals or Tyranitar works too. Dragon Dance indeed. You could Earthquake the incoming Metagross for Chip to try and set up for a DD Wincon another time. That could be a good game plan. That's exactly what Coltio is thinking. Good Chip right there. And Sack Suicune, I would have done the same. Metagross can't even click a button. Zapdos is good. I hope this is Toxic Zapdos. That'd be really good into the Blissey. Or Mixed Zapdos or something. Just a simple Thunderbolt though. I think Bliss Blissey is just going to be a huge problem for the team. In comes Tyranitar. Taking the T-Wave. It's a Lumberry. You could have assumed so based on no leftovers. And... A Claydol is tough. That's basically a whole other Tyranitar check to get through. Winning with Tyranitar is looking impossible. Just cut your losses, get the damage in. And you need to somehow get through Blissey. That's the big obstacle here. You could BP to Metagross. 
Yes. That's a start. Metagross is now in a solid spot. It could make something happen. I mean, Meteor Mash is a great click. Yeah. Blissey gonna take that in T-Wave. Yeah, Blissey, T-Wave Blissey, good Pokemon, huh? I will say Coltior's team is a bit... I know some people like this kind of mixed offense, spikeless, spinless type of team. I think this is a this this game is a prime example of why these kinds of teams can be inconsistent. It's just difficult to break through Scarm Bliss if you don't have like there's more solid structures, but it is possible. Magneton just going to finish this off. I think it's pretty over for Coltior now. Maybe Celebi? No, it doesn't have any healing move. Celebi gonna drop to another... Any attack on Earth, and... Zapdos can't beat Blissey unless... It gets multiple paralysis... Procs or something. And just a simple explosion finishes that off. Let's get right into game two. Salamence lead this time against a Zapdos, probably... Colt, you're gonna switch out here. And... Melodic is nice to be in on with Celebi, but actually chooses to switch out. Melodic also has Ice Beam, which is a little unusual. Coltior might have been expecting a switch out from Sheik there. Honestly, Ice Beaming with Melodic in the face of Celebi is dangerous, even, even though it's super effective. Celebi could hit you with a big Giga Drain or just Leech Seed. I guess Leech Seed is not the end of the world, to be honest. Okay. And it's yet another Calm Mind Celebi. Gonna just Giga Drain. That'll at least heal a decent amount against Snorlax. Since Snorlax has high health. Okay, going Salamence on Snorlax. Interesting. No, no better... No Skarmory or such things. Maybe you'll be, you're wary of a Magneton in the back, which could definitely be possible. Okay. Brick breaking there. Eager to chip down Snorlax, so probably aiming to make way for a Carmine Celebi win condition. Maybe a Zapdos in the back or something that wants Snorlax chipped. Alright. Celebi comes in safely against Surf. In position to Calm Mind again, but Snorlax makes that a little bit dubious. And wow, 43% and frozen. Oh gosh. Celebi be forced out here. Is indeed a Zapdos. Will we see a Baton pass out? I'm, I'm assuming... Okay, I was thinking Claydol, uh, sorry, uh, Snorlax comes in, but Claydol makes sense too. Mid-ground it. It's a Toxic Zapdos this time, and Toxic and Claydol is really nice. Might be Toxic HP Ice Zapdos. That's a good set. Celebi entry point on the Earthquake is nice. If it's running Leech Seed, maybe you click it here on the switch out, or does Claydol just choose to blow up? Might not be Leech Seed this time. Maybe it is Carmine Baton Pass. Interesting stuff. Maybe you just want the immediate healing as well. Choosing to just chip down Snorlax, make way for Zapdos Wincon. It's Heracross. It does have Lefty, so it's no sub Salak or anything like that. No Choice Band. goes Salamence there. Just taking a massive Thunderbolt. I guess you don't have a great option against a Zapdos, to be honest, with your Celebi down. But going Salamence is so rough. Maybe you would think in Drill Peck, but that's a crazy thing to assume, to be honest. That's a lesser seen Zapdos option. Not something you would ever really assume to such a confident extent. We're batting passing out. That's a decent play. Tanking that explosion. 
Sheik can now eliminate Tyranitar, but you get a Salamence entry point, and you're in... Or Zapdos, and you're in a pretty good spot. You could just click T-Bolt here, and that'll... I don't know if that's a roll or not, but I... you should KO this Snorlax from here. There it is. Beautiful. Now Zapdos is honestly in a really good spot. But Coltior with very little defensive backbone. The closest thing to a defensive Pokemon here was Celebi. Didn't even seem to have recover on it. So, very aggressive team just kind of getting worn down over time by Sheik. Protect a scout. Heracross can make something happen here for sure. You just go Zapdos. Do we see an aggressive rock slide? No. You probably sack Heracross at this point. Oh, you're faster. Wow. I didn't notice that, actually. Forgive me. Non-observant. Maybe that's why Coltio went Salamence earlier. Maybe he thought Sheik noticed that Hera was faster and therefore thought Sheik would switch out. It didn't play like that, though. All of a sudden, Coltio is bringing it back a little bit. Gonna just BP out and get the Intim. We're going back Zap. Alright. I think Doug is happy to be sacrificed at this point. Sheik seems to be playing that way. Oh, actually, nice mix-up. Getting Mag in. And to be honest, this Mag is in a position to Thunderbolt. Earning a KO. Getting rid of that low health Salamence. To be honest, Magneton is now a threat. <laughs> it's faster than Metagross. It'll get one last Thunderbolt off. If it wants to. Instead, the safer choice of going Melodic appears to be preferred. Coltior had an opportunity there to double to Zapdos. It's a little tough to make that play, though. Difficult play to make, for sure. Earthquake doing decent damage. If you get an attack raise, you could be in a good spot. But you got to be wary of the Doug health. You're almost in Earthquake range. Now you're definitely in Earthquake range after this. That being said, Doug can't, like, come in ever. Go Zapdos now on the recover turn. That's good. Bit of a mix-up here. Sheik could choose to go to Doug on the Thunderbolt. Does not... This is really close. Okay, you took out Melodic. The thing about this, though, is that... Metagross is probably too low to handle both of these fellas. Both of these remaining fellows. You do have to just T-Bolt here. You can't go back meta. Maybe you can... Protect Chip Hill a lot? Perhaps? You, it's never, it's never going to be enough, though. Yeah, Mag just finished you off and Coltior is out of the tournament. Sheik progresses. Coltior. With some exciting choices, but just kind of getting outvalued, defeated over time. It happens, folks. That's the risk of bringing offensive teams that are fixated on one game plan. Sometimes it can all fall apart. I respect the brings, though. That takes confidence. Well played. Thank you for playing. We did get a donation from Rylander, who simply says, Gamer. I couldn't agree more. Thank you, Rylander. And thank you for watching, folks. A bit under the weather today. Forgive me for some low-energy commentary. Hope you enjoyed it. And thank you. Goodbye.